Hello everybody and welcome back in this video. This is number two for the donut in blender um, last video um, my English is actually very weird and Very just it's just weird. Okay So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put a toppings on it. Oh, so yeah first obviously you're gonna go to object to so go to edit mode and I think you're gonna select this, this part here. Then you're gonna do a uh, control rotate, duplicate, no. I think it is edit mode. I forgot. Yeah, I, s yeah, I slightly forgot it, but. What I know is I already searched it again, then it was number pad 1, you can also change it here, Z to axis, X axis. So for my favorite thing, I'm gonna go for Y axis, then you're gonna, you're just gonna make it at the top here, like a box, then it would appear here, and yeah, I slightly forgot. Um. Where is it again? Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh my god. That took very long time. So, number pad one. Then, you're gonna make this box thing right here. Then we're gonna shift D. Which is gonna duplicate it. Then add it here. Oh, there you go. So this is actually a new donut. In the last video, um, it's actually like a separate donut. It is not the same at all. But yeah. Next, you're gonna click P here. And selection. So this is already a separate object. So if you go to object mode here, it's already a separate object. As you can see here. And yeah, I forgot the lighting here. So yeah, this is shading or some sort of stuff. You can make it on your own. But for me, I'm gonna use this because I'm more used to this type of lighting. Next step is actually go for the modifier tab. But yeah, we're gonna choose Taurus 0.001. Then go to the modifier tab, add modifier. Then you're gonna click here, solidify right here. Then you're gonna um, make it thick, wait. Wait, 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 what? So this is how it looks like when you offset it in the thickness. So I'm gonna make it a little bit like this so it looks slightly thicker. Or like that. That is perfect. <laughs> it looks so weird, but we could smooth this out so we can shade smooth shade smooth it you can make it thicker or smaller if you want to but for me and um, this is actually good and there you go i quite changed it and yeah there's some bumps here and there and i am um, the circle is like not the like the failed the failed one like the flat one so this is a bit bumpy i edited it so yeah that is it Next we're gonna do is we're gonna go to object mode and edit mode then hmm next if you wanna get the vertex or something like the line here at the edge just click or, uh, alt left click so you're gonna alt left click yeah right there then you can go select then invert it then to uh to i think it is uh where is it then i forgot i forgot the i think it's h yeah it's h h it's h so it's hide then first you might think is uh yeah i'm gonna put it down like this maybe not oh god eh. huh you're gonna put this down and grab G. Yeah. That's not how you do it, actually. So, how you do it is right here, snap it, 
then go to face, then go to project individual elements, then enter, then it's right there. So it's it's like snap in, then you can make it a slightly, I forgot to click G, then we can, you can put it down like this, like that, a little bit high. Yeah, I kind of forgot that, but yeah, you can do this, do that down, then you can go up here or maybe down. So yeah, that's all it. So we're gonna put this uh, slightly up here. Then you can go to I think shift hide, or, or no 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 I mean not shift hide alt hide. So to put them back so you can see your beauty thing that is actually clipping. So what we're gonna do about that is click this, this, then view. You can see here I'm gonna set it to 0 0.000, I mean 0 0.001 <laughs> to lessen it. If you go more further, um, chaos will happen. So yeah. I think I don't know how to keep it, this one away. I'm I'm quite dumb, so yeah. We're gonna put this there. Next is actually um. Hmm. I think first I can make it thick. Maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I I cannot make it thicker. Yeah, slightly, just slightly. So then the offset slightly higher if the offset is slightly higher well it's much thicker but this is what i want to i want to make a thick donut so it, it looks, looks good, good but we're still not yet done <laughs> well well yeah next is to sculpt but first i think my favorite first thing to do is actually um add some colors to it so i think it's right here then you get new then you're gonna get base color. Make sure you turn this on. Make sure this one is turned on. So you can get base color. Yeah, slightly forgot it. So you can change it to pink around this. Is my favorite color. Next, you can go down there and also change it favorite color to around here because I like this. Looks a bit beautiful. Because I don't want donuts that are like sticking down. I'm not a fan of. But yeah, that's fine. Well, next is actually we're gonna go sculpting. So if you want this, make sure your radius is up to 110 or at least 150 pixels. Next is this trend. It must be under 300. So if I do, con if I do this, like example. Wait, what's, what's the color? Yeah, I slightly forgot to turn on this. Yeah, make sure you turn on that so you know where you're going or some sort of stuff. So if if you just do normal like left clicks in your mouse, it's making it's making it thicker as you can see. So if control Z it if you wanna decrease it because it's like control delete. So that's it. So if you want to push it in instead of out, well you need to hold control then left click and as you can see it's making it smaller look it's actually making it smaller so yeah it's not that pretty hard to do you can just do it by your own as you can see it's getting smaller because actually um, donuts are not e equal okay so I'm gonna also put it in here so it's quite different as you can see make it a bit ugly there you go so I think yeah that's enough for me well well next is actually I did subdivide from this one so as you can see there's a lot a lot of small thing is that you can get pull out on so what I did is I used Taurus 0.001 and then I 
I obviously did this boxy thing. Then I let right clicked it and you can choose subdivide but I don't want to anymore. And yeah, some problems like this can happen. But I don't know why, but it's just fun for me. So no worries for me, I don't need it. Because what I need is just the inside line for modeling it. Next, you can do some stuff like this one. So you're gonna, your original is this one. So it's like the thing that goes in and out. Like you're gonna control to get in, like example this one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And if you want to put it out, you can just don't click the control button. Then it will like poke out. But I can't see. Yeah, it pokes out right there. Yeah, it slightly pokes out. So what I want is this one, which is grab to make it slightly a bit beautiful and stuff. So what I'm going to do is just drag this, as you can see, because I, ha I got subdivide things. That's why, as you can see, I have a lot of ch to choose from. I can even do this, which is slight. So I don't want to. So there you go. To make it slightly good. Oh, yeah. Must be slightly up. There you go. This one is too deep for my. I'm I'm quite dumb. Yeah, no. Next, I actually wanted the inside line, which is slightly a bit. How do you do this? Yeah, around this one. Oh no. <laughs> then yeah, it's just like that. You can do some stuff with it, and <laughs> and you can make it thicker and longer, as you can see. But you have some limitations for it. So that is first for sculpting. And obviously we're going to add some sprinkles here. That's why I use subdivide. You can subdivide this one if you want to. But for me, well, I'm going to just do this. And for subdividing, well, if you want to edit a lot of here to make it extremely more realistic and some puff like, like real life. Yeah, you can sub just subdivide it. Like example, you're just gonna do, you're just gonna click this, and you're gonna do, wait, <laughs> I mean edit mode, then you're gonna do subdivide. No, I don't want to, but I don't want to subdivide, so it's just my choice. So yeah, the next video is I think we're gonna add some sprinkles to it, and like a big table around it, then more beautiful lighting. And I'm gonna make also a plate, so it's like a donut inside a plate. The next, I also gonna make a just like spoon and fork and stuff. Yeah, that's for the like future videos. But first, like next future video, we're gonna add sprinkles to it, then design, and also some shadowing and stuff. So yeah. If we're done in the donut, we're also gonna make a tree, a low poly tree. And next, we're gonna make a um, a house. So the next is like a house, like a miniature house. It's not like, like a mansion or something. But first, obviously, I'm a beginner. Well, obviously, I'm gonna make it small first. Then, if I'm already like advanced, I can make it bigger and bigger for larger, more projects. But my system can handle it, so I have to build a new computer to, to yeah, to handle that very big area and stuff, and also rendering, which is quite tricky to do in my system, which is, I am in an Intel system, which is not great. I hope it's AMD, but no, it's just fine for me. And yeah, for the future videos, yeah, that no, it's just like that, okay.